Καλημέρα. Καλημέρα. Ευχαριστούμε. It's a great pleasure to welcome to Cyprus the President of the European Central Bank, Mrs. Christine Lagarde. Dear Christine, your visit to our country on the invitation of the Governor of the Central Bank of Cyprus is of great importance, particularly in view of this important juncture for the European and also the global economy. During our exchange, I had the opportunity to brief President Lagarde about the current state of the, cyber, of the Cypriot economy and discuss with her some of the new challenges that arise, which, of course, also consequences, uh, have consequences for the European Union and its member states as well as the Eurozone. As I explained to Mrs. Lagarde, and naturally she is very well versed with this information, the significant progress of the Cypriot economy in recent years, which in Teralia led to the creation of sufficient fiscal buffers, has enabled us to protect livelihoods against health and economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we are all faced with the war in Ukraine and the unparalleled crisis it creates. The Republic of Cyprus is up against new obstacles such as reduced tourist arrivals, increased inflation and rising energy and food prices, all of which undermine the country's growth trajectory. But I have to say, we are optimistic that once again we will manage to exceed expectation and continue implementing our commitments towards macroeconomic and financial stability and sustainable and uh, inclusive growth to the benefit of our citizens and businesses. Our shared understanding with President Lagarde is that a new comprehensive plan is once more necessary in order to tackle the uncertainties and enhance our uh, resilience in the challenging period ahead. Dear Christine, you are a friend of Cyprus who has observed our economies fall and rise in recent years, and I trust that your visit today demonstrates our will to work closely together and further strengthen our productive cooperation. Once again, welcome to Cyprus and thank you very much for all of what you have done in helping us. Thank you. It is a great pleasure to be back in Cyprus and uh, a great uh, pleasure to have uh, 
<coughs> accepted the invitation of my colleague and friend, Konstantinos Herodotu, who is a member of the Governing Council of the European Central Bank, and to benefit from your great hospitality, President. So this morning we had an exchange of views on the global economic situation, but also, of course, <coughs> on the drama which is taking place uh, next door to Europe as a result of the uh, terrible war of Russia in Ukraine. And we discussed the economic consequences that it will have uh, for our countries uh, within uh, Europe and specifically within the Euro area. Now, of course, we are all shocked and horrified by the images of the war and everybody is doing their best uh, to address the situation. From a central bank perspective, at the ECB within the Euro system, and obviously the National Central Bank of Cyprus is part of the exercise, we're trying to procure stability of prices, financial stability, but also we are attentive to what support can be extended, and we are very keen that the sanctions which have been decided at the European level be also observed and implemented with total integrity and rigor, and this is what uh, needs uh, to take place indeed. Now, of course, there are economic consequences to all this, and clearly those countries that have developed an extensive service sector are affected. And uh, it has always been the case in the past that Cyprus has demonstrated its ability to change, to improve, to innovate, and to move from one business model to another. And I very much hope that this is yet again the case because it is, of course, a fact that the tourism activity in particular will be affected. But I have full confidence that Cyprus, with the help of its partners, with the help of Europe at large, uh, like other Euro uh, area members, will be able to recover and bounce back and uh, return to the prosperity and the path that it had taken uh, previously, even during the COVID years, where you have demonstrated incredible um, energy and ability to resist the, the shock. So, as I said, it's a great pleasure to be back. Uh, it's a, a great pleasure to see that uh, Cyprus is very much not at the far end of Europe, but at the core of Europe, and a key player and a key member in Europe. And uh, Cyprus plays an important role uh, in, in Europe, and certainly from my perspective, as president of the uh, Euro system, a very important role in the financial circle that I have the privilege and the honor to preside, and of which Konstantinos is a key member. So with that, President, yet again, Ekaristo, very much. <laughs> And uh, I suppose I hand the floor back to you. Back to Constantino uh, Thank Constantine. you, Mr. President. I would also like to welcome the president of the ECB, Madame Lagarde, to Cyprus, and express my gratitude for accepting our invitation and finding time in her very demanding schedule. As the president of the Republic and the president of the ECB uh, stated during our meeting here at the presidential palace and earlier at the Central Bank of Cyprus, Europe, including Cyprus, has already entered a new challenging phase that calls for imminent action. And action is being taken both at the ECB and here in our country. In this uh, challenging environment, we need to further enhance our efforts towards a sustainable growth and finance model by taking all necessary measures. With President Lagarde, we are already working proactively at the ECB's Governing Council and I'm optimistic that once again we will face the short-term and long-term challenges in the best and most proactive way. Regarding the local banking system, and despite the pandemic's consequences and the new challenges, we reassured Madame Lagarde that it is solid and can absorb turmoil or spillover effects as it works its way out of non-performing loans and towards the new era of technology and automation with sufficient capital buffers and strong liquidity. Uh, je vais essayer en français maintenant. Mm -hmm. uh, je voudrais vous remercier encore une fois uh, d'avoir ac accepté nous rendre visite uh, à Chypre. Uh, tous mes compatriotes et moi-même aussi, nous sommes très heureux de vous accueillir ici. Merci.
Merci beaucoup.